Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh Ok, we move to the chapter 4 Last chapter Ordinary differential equation Ok, at the end of this chapter Student will be able to state definition of differential equation To determine three types of first order ordinary differential equation To distinguish between separable and homogeneous equation Okay, so what is uh, differential equation? Okay, what is differential equation? Okay, as you can see, the definition a uh, differential equation is an equation containing the derivative or differential of one or more independent more dependent variable with respect to one or more independent variable. Uh, so, uh, in other words, differential equation it is an equation an equation involving an unknown function and its derivative so melibatkan function yang kita tidak tahu eh? uh, dan dia hanya beri uh, derivative eh? dia hanya beri derivative ok so the solution is to find the function from the derivative given ok understand ok uh, find the function uh, from the derivative given okay uh, so it is differential equation okay so uh, ordinary differential equation is ordinary derivative appear in differential equation with respect to a single independent variable okay kalau partial partial derivative equation partial derivative appear in the differential equation of one or more dependent variable with one or more independent variable so how to solve the differential equation how to find the function okay how to find the function okay for the first order the ordinary differential equation has three methods okay three methods eh, which are separable variables homogeneous equation and linear equation okay uh, separable satu homogeneous linear okay so, okay first Firstly, we look at a separable variable, standard form. This is standard form, gy dy dx equals to fx. This is actually uh, the question, eh? the question. Okay, uh, so we transform gy dy equals to fx dx. Uh, this is separate, eh? separate y dy x dx. Okay, so the general solution is integrate both sides. Uh, integrate gy dy equals to integrate fx dx plus c where c is an arbitrary constant what is arbitrary constant constant apa-apa sahaja ok uh, dia boleh jadi ln dia boleh jadi exponent dia boleh jadi uh, apa lagi apa-apa sahajalah ok uh, ok faham eh ok tak faham lagi okay, kita tengok example for example 1 solve the equation exponent x plus 2y dy dx equals to 3 ok uh, so uh, untuk uh, soalan ni eh, kita tak tahu function so kita nak cari function soalan dia hanya bagi derivative so first kali ok what is question question is exponent x plus 2y dy dx equals to 3 so we use separable method Ok, macam mana kita nak separate Asingkan dia, sebelah sini y uh, right, uh, Left hand side y the Right hand side is x Ok, so uh, Convert dulu Exponent x Equals to Exponent x dot Exponent 2y Dy equals to 3 dx Ok, nampak hmm. So Separate, asingkan exponent x Pindah sebelah sini Okay, so dia akan jadi exponent 2y dy equals to 3 exponent negative x dx sorry, sini dx eh? ha, pindahkan dx ke sini so kita dapat dx ok ha, so bila dah hasilkan dia, sebelah sini y sebelah sini x, integrate both side ha, integrate je ok, ha, so integrate exponent 2y, kita akan dapat exponent 2y over 2 equals to ok yang ni kita akan dapat negative 3 exponent 
negative x plus c so this is the answer ok, uh, ni jawapan dia ok, nampak eh so tu jawapan dia ok, mudah eh ok so for the example 2 ok, uh, we look at example 2 ok ok, saya contoh kat sini eh example 2 ok cos square x dy dx equals to 9 plus y square so macam mana kita nak asingkan dia sebelah sini, sebelah uh, uh, left hand side y, right hand side x, so we get 1 over 9 plus y square dy, so sebelah sini, 1 over cos square x dx, so bila kita dah asingkan dia, integrate saja Eh, integrate both side integrate sebelah sini integrate sebelah sini ok so integrate ni kita guna apa ha, yang ni formula dia eh, integrate 1 over x square plus a square dx equals to 1 over a tangent inverse x over a ok ingat lagi tak formula ni eh? ha, so 9 equals to 3 square so 3 square eh? this is uh, 3 square 1 over 3 square plus y square dy ok, yang ni 1 over cos square second square, integrate second square eh, we get tangent eh? uh, integrate second square x dx ok, so uh, so ni jawapan dia 1 over, ikut formula ni ok, tengok sini formula ni 1 over 3 tangent inverse y over 3 equals to integrate second tangent x plus c ok so this is a answer ok ni jawapan dia ok uh, ada soalan ok tak ada uh, cuba buat latihan eh. ok sama agak dengan yang ni eh. ok example uh, 3 Ok, example 3 So, example 3 uh, eh, Example 3 ni kita guna eh, Kita kena guna um, Separable Ok, ok, cuba buat tengok sini Separate uh, X, ok, pindah kat sini Ok, kita dapat ni, nampak eh Ok, kemudian integrate both side Bila kita dah separate kan dia Integrate both side integrate kat sini, integrate kat sini so nak integrate yang ni kita guna with with one eh? uh, cos uh, apa ni, odd number ok, so macam mana odd number uh, step one bring down odd power to even power ok, even power kuasa 2, kuasa 1 and then uh, transform uh, cos square into identity 1 minus sin square y Ok, so kita guna let u eh? Integrate by using uh, substitution U equals to sin y DU equals to cos y So kita akan dapat 1 minus nampak? 1 minus u square Ok, kita ganti 1 minus u square Sini cos y kita ganti dengan DU Ok, integrate u Integrate 1, u Integrate u square, u cube over 3 So kat sini pula, ok, ha, ok kat sini Integrate x over x square plus 1 So kita guna substitution juga Ok, ha, let u equals to x square plus 1 du equals to 2x So pindah sebelah sini, one uh, half du equals to x dx So kita ganti x dx ni dengan half u eh, Half uh, du So 1 over u, x square plus 1 Ok, so integrate 1 over u long u Ok, so jawapan dia adalah sin y minus sin cube y over 3 equals to half long x square plus 1. Ok, ganti balik u ni. Ok, ganti balik u. Bila awak dah ganti tadi, let u, awak kena ganti balik. Ok. Uh, so, example 4. Ok, example 4. Sama juga eh. Asingkan dia. Kemudian, integrate. Ok, kita tengok sini. Uh, we have C kat sini Ok uh, Long 
Yang ni, integrate ni, ln x plus 2 plus c. C equals to ln a. Okay, c, kita tengok tadi, c is an arbitrary constant. C boleh apa-apa sahaja. So, kita anggap c equals to ln a. Sebab apa kita anggap ln a? Sebab nanti kita nak gabungkan dia. Okay, macam ni. ln x plus c, x plus 2 plus ln a. So, ln plus ln dia akan jadi ln a x plus 2. Nampak? Dia akan jadi darab. Ok. Ha, ok. Nampak lagi. Ok. Sebelah sini ln y minus 3. Ok. Dia akan jadi ln x plus 2 plus ln a. Ok. So, kita boleh gabung ln a x plus 2 Eh, here, ln y minus 3 Ok uh, So, simplify eh? Simplify as beautiful as you can do Ok uh, So, exponent kan dia Exponent kan dia So, exponent ln Kita dapat y minus 3 So, yang ni kita akan dapat a x plus 2 Simplify lagi Y a x plus 2 plus 3 So, this is a answer Cantik lah soalan like, jawapan dia. Ok. Uh, bagi cantik lah jawapan dia. Ok. Hmm. Uh, so, C tu apa-apa sahaja. Ok. Uh, ok. Sama dengan example. Uh, example 5. Ok. Example 5. Uh, ni soalan dia. Ok. So, first kali dia pindah dulu. Ok. Dia pindah yang ni. Kemudian dia asingkan. Macam mana nak asing? Asing lah. Eh? Darab pindah sana bahagi, bahagi pindah sana darab. Okay. Ha, so, dia buat kat sini, X sebelah sini, Y sebelah sini. Tak kisah eh, mana-mana. Ha? Uh, right hand side, left hand side tak kisah. Ha? Asalkan dia equal. Okay. So, bila dah awak separate kan dia, integrate both side. Okay. Ha, so, integrate yang ni. 1 plus 1 over X. Integrate 1 minus 1 over Y. Integrate 1 X. Integrate 1 over X log X. So, sim, uh, sama juga yang ni Ok uh, So, nampak tak dia gabung X plus ln X Ok From this eh X plus ln X Equals to Y minus Ln Y plus C Ok hmm. Dia nak bagi cantik ni eh, Dia buat ln X pindah sebelah sini semua Ok Okay, yang ni y minus x plus c. Okay, nampak tak? Okay, dia buat macam ni. Uh, so, ln x plus ln y, kita boleh gabungkan dia ln x y. Okay, sini y minus x plus c. Okay, so macam mana kita nak hapuskan ln? Kita masukkan eksponen. Eksponen both side. So, yang ni kita dapat x y equals to eksponen y minus x. Eksponen plus c ni... Uh, Ok, kita boleh simplify lagi eh? Kita dapat Dot exponent C Nampak tak? Ok, nampak tak? So, exponent C Exponent constant So, exponent constant Exponent constant kita dapat constant A Exponent Y minus X So, kat sini X, Y So, ni jawapan dia Ok, ha, lagi cantik Ok ha, So, datang mana, X, datang mana A A ni adalah constant Exponent constant adalah Constant Constant apa-apa saja. Ok uh, Ok Faham eh So next example 6 eh, Example 7 uh, Sama ke example 8 oh, Ok example 8 ni Ok saya terang sikit Example 8 ni dia buat Partial derivative eh? Partial derivative Ok uh, Partial eh, Partial derivative Bukan partial derivative Partial fraction, sorry, partial fraction Ok, find A, find B Ok, partial fraction Example 9, dia guna long division Ok, so tutorial 31 For the uh, next, example 1 Example 1, this is a application Application, sebab apa application? Sebab dia dah bagi y equals to 0 When x equals to 0 Okay. So kita nak dapatkan nilai constant tu ha? Kita nak dapatkan nilai constant tu So step dia sama juga Asingkan dia dulu okay. Asingkan dia dulu okay. So sebelah sini Y, sebelah sini X And then integrate as usual Macam biasa okay. So integrate macam biasa 
So sin cos ni apa ni? Tangent kan? Okay tangent So integrate tangent Dia dapat Negatif long cos Okay Datang mana integrate tangent ni? Okay tengok muka surat awal-awal ni eh, Muka surat yang awal-awal ni Okay Surat kat depan ni Okay Haa sini Integrate apa tadi? Integrate Tangent Integrate tangent Long second Ataupun Long second Ataupun long cos negatif 1 Ataupun negatif long cos Okay ha, So dia boleh Tiga-tiga tu sama Okay ha, So dia buat Negatif long cos Okay Negatif negatif Positif So dia dapat long cos Okay sebelah sini ha, Dia guna substitution Okay Substitution Okay ha, So dapat long u 1 over u Integrate 1 over u Long u U apa u? 1 plus exponent x Ok C ha, Nampak? Dia guna ln a Ok Sebab apa dia guna ln a? Sebab kawan dia ln Kawan dia pun ln Dia pun nak juga ln Ok ha, Dia nak juga ln Sebab apa dia nak juga ln? Baru boleh gabung Ok ha, Nampak sini ln cos y ln 1 plus exponent a ln a Nampak dia gabung ha, Dia nak gabung ha, So sini kita anggap dia ln a So jadi macam ni Bila dah jadi macam ni Eksponen both side Ok Eksponen both side ha, Dia dapat cos y Sini dapat A1 plus exponent x So Tengok soalan Dia dah bagi uh, Initial condition Ok Y equals to 0 When x equals to 0 So Y equals to 0 X equals to 0 Cos y Cos y Cos 0 Cos 0 Equals to A plus Exponent 0 Ha, so sini cos 0 1 A 1 plus exponent 0 pun 1 So 2A So 1A equals to half Ok nampak eh So A equals to half So jawapan dia cos Y equals to half 1 plus exponent X Ok ha, sama dengan example 2 Dia dah bagi initial condition Y0 equals to 2 Okay, so example 3 Example 4 Tutorial 32 Kalau ada soalan Boleh tanya saya dalam Group eh Okay Terima kasih Assalamualaikum